did you work if you um, make the books? Sometimes we do have separate roles on, on some of the books um, that we collaborate on. I'll sort of design the pop-ups, mostly make the pop-ups, but Matthew will write the story or the manuscript and then make create the, the artwork Make for the it. artwork. Sometimes what we'll do, also after Robert's created the engineering, how the pop-up works, mm -hmm. I will go back and shape it so that it looks appropriate to whatever okay. creature or right. character we're trying to make. Especially if it's an animal, because he knows better than I do. He has a biology degree in biology, <laughs> so he knows about animals, so he, he definitely knows. But also, I think sometimes it's not such an important role. I, I ask his opinion, and he asks my opinion, mm -hmm. and sometimes it's, it's very loose, so not always so structured, mm -hmm. not always so structured, sometimes very, very easy back, back and, and forth. forth. Do you have any plan of the collaboration work, like the dinosaurs or you know mega Yes, actually, we do. We have we have collaborations um, already set um, for the future. Um, after we finished our Prehistorica series of encyclopedias, now we're starting a series called Encyclopedia Mythologica, and the first is about fairies and magical creatures from That's all great. around the world. Really so good. fluttering fairies and uh, mermaids and unicorns are all in the first book. Because we think these books are not only fun, because pop-ups are fun all the time, but they're educational. You can learn something in them. And like Encyclopedia Prehistorica, Dinosaurs, Megabeasts in particular too, you learn a lot. And so with fairies, I think you will as well. One that, and, and, and also with fairies, it's, it's about bringing these magical beings to life that we can't necessarily see. So here they are on the pages.